Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, bringing you another video on how to raise your vibration so you can live your best life. Let's talk today about self care and whether or not that is selfish. Oftentimes when we are healing and we are moving into a new way of life, the people around us, especially if it's a toxic relationship or anyone on the, the narcissist spe spectrum, they will often say that you are being selfish by focusing on you. That if you're putting yourself first and you're prioritizing self-love and self-care, that that is selfish. And oftentimes when we come from uh, a complex trauma background or we have that unworthiness wound or even just collectively as a society has taught us that narcissism um, is the way of life, we can often have a sense of guilt or even shame around taking care of ourselves. And we can question whether or not we are doing the right thing, especially if we have been in a habit of people pleasing or over giving. And so I am here to offer you a new perspective, a new way to look at self care and self love. So think about it this way. Is it selfish of me to want to please myself? Or is it more selfish for you to want me to please you? So you see how there's been sort of a twist put on this, that you taking care of yourself is selfish because you are not taking care of me. Now, which truly is more selfish? So we really need to start to shift our perspective in how we look at things that ultimately at the end of the day, your only responsibility is to take care of yourself, to find your own joy, to make yourself happy and not worry about everyone else. When in fact, mind your own business means that very thing. You take care of yourself. You sweep in front of your own door. And as long as everyone is doing that, we will all be taken care of. But the moment we as one person expect multiple people to start taking care of us, we are taxing the system and we are taking more than is our right. In fact, that is not a reciprocating energy, which is how it's intended to be. That as you fill your own cup, you are able to pour into others as you so choose, not by obligation or requirement or expectation that other people's responsibility is their own and the way they feel is up to them to manage and also keep in mind that as someone projects onto you the way they think you should feel about taking care of them they're actually showing you more about themselves than they are saying about you so a person's response to you says more about what is in them than it says about you so someone's feelings, emotions, opinions, expectations, it's all about them. It's not about you. So really look at that phrase, don't take it personally in a new light. That means it's not about you. It has nothing to do with you. In fact, the only things that have anything to do with you are what's coming in and out and through you. And that goes for everyone that you encounter as well. Yes, we do have a responsibility for the energy we create and what we put out there. But oftentimes someone's response to you says more about them than it says about you. So just remember, self-care and self-love is not selfish. When in fact, someone else expecting you to be responsible for how they feel or making them happy is far more selfish. I'm going to leave you with a quick one today. I love you guys. I will see you on the next video. Do make sure to reach out if you're interested in a free 30 minute session. Link is below. We can help you identify your abundance blocks and or the root causes of any um, toxic relationships and continuing to draw those into your life. So free 30 minute session link below and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Namaste, my friends.